Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to this ongoing saga. Well, my saga anyway. I'm just dragging you along for the fun, profit, I don't know. Today is Sunday evening. Earlier today I posted part two of the video. I'm only declaring that because this section of the video won't be recorded, will not be recorded until sometime this following week. As stated in part two, I have something, uh, another piece of gear coming in on Monday and I need to tear this off of my workbench, clean my workbench up because it has definitely grown wings and is flying away. We all know how that is, right? So I need to get ready for that so I could uh, videotape that, demo that, test it out for the first time my own self. I need to finish up my Syncor FC45 frequency counter, which is a project I started in about December, and I've been needing to get that finished up. And so if I have any time tomorrow, I'll record the uh, last segment of that, finish that out, and push that out as quick as I can. So you're probably going to see some projects coming up before uh, I get back to this. But as soon as I get past that, I will take this project back on. So definitely look forward for this to be a future project because I would definitely like to get this completed. would definitely like to use this to move forward with all my other project. Also I have my IFR 1200S as you see already stabbed into place in the back there. I've already done a video on that same time I did on my Hewlett Packard audio scope. I just haven't had time to uh, assemble that video and push that out. That is a hour and a half recorded video. I'll try to either chop some up a little bit or take a little bit off the top you know shorten it down some. Or this time, I'll go ahead and make that into a multi-part. I know my HP video at an hour and a half long was a little challenging for most to take on in one sitting. I do apologize. I just wanted to get all the meat in uh, in one video. So I'll try to be kind and, and chop that one up some. All right. So what I've done in the interim since uh, I last posted that video, had fantastic response from Video Lab Guy, buddy over at the radio place, West Hell Video, or sorry about that, West Hell Audio, and Doug, and sorry, my brain just uh, just dropped out there. Uh, everybody, I appreciate all your responses. Let's see here. Um, Video Lab Guy commented, need to screw this back into place because the casings is also part of the equation, and... Uh, I knew that. I just, I just totally forgot. Again, something I don't play with. Well, I was going to say frequently or infrequently, but honestly, I've never really played with him. But a lot of studying, a lot of learning, and dorking with this one. Yes, I knew that. Uh, that was part of the equation. Just completely slipped my my feeble mind, and uh, which is not all that hard to do. Quite easy, actually. So, as you see, I've got them all put into place except for one screw here. I did confirm that this does not go to anything. And uh, this one here definitely will take care of both. It, uh, so, we're, we're good there. That one is actually a case screw. And honestly, I don't remember what I did with that. I think that was a snap cap. or something. I don't remember what I did with it. Let's just leave it at that. Couldn't find it. So we're all good to go there. I've already tested this once. Uh, the equation changed just slightly and I'm going to try to do this on camera so we all could see other than me just verbalizing. What happened was um, my 5 volts got so so bloody hot. Uh, Burnt my finger, called the ambulance, had them roll in code 3, uh, they splinted me, and uh, no, I'm just kidding, uh, really, that uh, that really did get uh, burning hot, and I had to test this in two sessions because it just got that hot that fast. I'm going to try to run through all of them as quickly as I can, so pay attention more to the meter than me. But I, I hope I got my shot established where we could all see that just the same. 
I was very successful in finding the data sheet on all four of these. This here is the data sheet on the diode. Uh, I came across a old HP cross-reference and I was able to find documentation uh, I was looking for. Um, actually, this one came out of a cross-reference for these guys. And uh, that's what we have there. That's for UX1, the diode. This is UX2, which is our negative voltage, our negative 15. This is UX3. And this is our plus 5. And last but not least, UX4. And this is our plus 15. Nothing here has changed except for my, my paper tree is getting rather large. I've located a owner's manual and service manual on this, so I'm going to go ahead and order one instead of keep printing out all these loose papers and that beep because that's going to turn off, so let me turn that back on. Again, I'm going to go through this quickly, and that's essentially all this video is going to be is, is this right here. I have this plugged into my um, isovariac and uh, I'll hit the big red switch and work just as quick as I can. So pay attention to the birdie. I need to be careful for this shorting up against the case and most importantly the 120 volts right here. This here is the plus 5, so there's the case, there's the input, there's the output, here is a plus 5, that is the case, and why am I not getting Hold on, I'm not getting voltage. Stand by. Oh. Okay, so. Not sure what the problem could be. Any guesses? Let's try that again, shall we? How many of us has uh, done that before? But hey, this time they did not get hot. So this one here gets blistering hot, and this one gets... Uh, it's really, really warm. The other two, not at all. So apparently there's something going on with the 5 volts. And the plus 15 also agrees with that. Alright, so let's try this again. Big red switch. Now see my amps right there shoots right on up to three quarters of an amp and now it's dropping down. Okay. So gotta be careful where I stick the back of that board. 
So, case on plus 15, input plus 15, output plus 15, case on plus 5, input plus 5, output plus 5, why am I getting 12 volts on that, um, case negative 15, input negative 15, output negative 15 and the diode of course I can't check because it's behind that and I only have my uh, plus 15 light on on the board that's warm not uncomfortable but you could tell a difference and that will take some meat off of your hands right now and those two are probably uh, nothing I don't feel any warmth to them at all so that's where we're at with this buddy over at the radio place suggested to ohm out my voltage rails to see where the short is. He says that that'll be the fastest way to do that. So when I bring this back to the workbench, HP recommends this thing to stand up so you can flop these boards out. And so that's what I'll, I'll do, make it easier trying to access, I guess, the backside of the board. That is it. Just wanted to show that in this video. Thanks for watching. You have any more uh, suggestions for me? I'll apply that in my next video. Thanks again. I most definitely do appreciate it. We'll see you then. Bye.